Have you ever struggled to focus while you pray? Today I'm gonna give you some tips and some tricks on how to stay focused and not be distracted. <laughs> Cause I am every single day. So let's get started. I just really hope that I'm not the only one that gets distracted when I pray. When I start to pray, I feel like I'm ready. I don't feel rushed. I feel like I'm going to get into this intense, super deep prayer. And then I start to hear my phone buzzing, text messages coming in. I forgot to reply to somebody on Facebook. Um, I think about what I'm going to cook the next day. I realize that I didn't take the clothes out the dryer. I think about what somebody said to me like 10 years ago. I think about, man, why didn't I beat this person? Uh, literally, I call it, I have like ADHD to prayer. So again, I want to reassure you, you are not alone. You are not the only one that gets distracted while we pray to our heavenly Father. Let me share this with you. Not only do we get distracted, but there are a few people that are in the Bible that also got distracted. Think about Jesus's disciples. Jesus took them to the garden and said, I need you to watch with me for one hour. When Jesus got up from praying, them fools was asleep. <laughs> he was asleep. And he told Peter, he said, can you not watch with me for one hour so that you don't enter into temptation? They couldn't even do it. They got distracted or they got tired. The bottom line is, is that our flesh is weak. Let me share some things that I have done that help me and will help you hopefully stay on track and stay focused during your prayer time. Number one is finding a quiet space. So Jesus gave his disciples specific instructions on how to pray. But when you pray, go away by yourself all alone and shut the door and pray to your father secretly and your father who knows your secrets will reward you openly. It is so important for me to find a quiet space around everyone. A lot of times, my husband's in his doctorate right now, so he blasts the music while he's playing. I have a dog that barks when he hears like small noises. Um, you know, the TV comes on or, you know, notifications. I have to shut everything down and find a quiet place so that I'm able to concentrate. <clears throat> The next thing is read a scripture first. So reading scriptures will help you get into a mindset of being focused. Being focused during prayer is so important because you want to know what you're talking about. And scriptures will definitely help guide you along the way. When you read his word, you pray his word and it gets in your spirit. The next thing is pray out loud. One of the quickest ways for me to eliminate any type of distraction is by praying out loud. Um, it's almost like I'm speaking my prayers instead of just thinking them and it allows me to address a lot of issues. So think about it as like a conversation. If you're upset and you're angry and you have a lot going on that you just really need to pray about, when you talk to your friends about whatever issue, you need to talk it out. You just can't keep it in your mind. You have to talk it out so you feel much better about all of it. So that's how it is in prayer. Like, God, I am just so upset. I'm so angry. I'm feeling anxious. I'm feeling depressed. I mean, just as the list goes on, there's even a lot of times where I, even when I do get distracted and I do pray out loud, sometimes I'm like, God, I just need your help. I need you to focus. You know, I need you to help me focus and stay concentrated. I'm feeling, I'm, I'm you know, getting really distracted at this point. I need to wash dishes. I need to clean clothes. I need to make sure, oh, let me get up right now. Let me go do this. Oh, then 20 minutes later, I'm like, oh Lord, sorry. I, my bad. <laughs> My bad. So praying out loud, even if even if that distraction is a part of that prayer, God understands. God knows. He ain't going to be like, "Uh, uh start all over. Nope, start all over. <laughs> He's not going to do that. The next thing is praying scripture. Praying God's word is so, so, so important. You don't have to worry about your mind wandering off. Go through the book of Psalms. 
uh, go through, you know, find some of your favorite scriptures and pray those. It doesn't have to be 16, 17 hours long. Um, as long as you're communing with God, sing songs. I love to sing songs. And a lot of those songs are my prayer. So I'll go and listen to worship music or, you know, something that um, has a lot of scripture in it. And I'll sing that and I'll pray that um, all day. Um, write your prayers. This is another good part. When just like journaling, if you, you're able to write your prayers down, it is going to help you tremendously. Why is it going to help you tremendously? It's going to help you because it gives you a script to follow and you're able to say, God, blah, 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 boom, and you're done. Okay. Pray, praying is not saying a bunch of eloquent, very big, you know, um, like huge words, it's literally a conversation with God. When you're talking to your friends, are you trying to find like super big words to talk to them about? No, you're going to be like, what's up, girl? Hey, how you doing? You know, I'm just really, you know, I'm going through. I'm having a very difficult time. That's how it is in prayer. Just tell God what's tell God what's up. Tell him he understand. And um, another thing that I do is I pray while I walk or when I'm cleaning. When I'm cleaning, it's so so, like it's a mindless thing so I could be washing the dishes uh, mopping the floor you know even taking my dog out I am able to really just focus on those things I'm able to get my mindset and say you know Lord I need you I'm getting away from the environment that I'm in I'm able to walk and to pray and concentrate on the things that are going on in my mind and in my heart the last thing is pray with a friend. I don't have friends that I pray with. I pray by myself a lot. Um, and, you know, my husband and I, we pray every now and then, not like all the time. Um, and I think one of the reasons why is because like we're so busy too. But again, you know, we all have our individual prayer times, but praying with a friend will really help you stay focused because you guys can share what you guys are going through together. And through you guys sharing that, you're able to really concentrate on those main things. And when you're talking to that friend, say, can I pray for you? Give me a list of things that I can pray about so I can stay focused. Again, that goes back to the list. So I encourage you guys, these are the things that I do to stay focused and it helps a lot. I get distracted a lot because I have so much on my mind. So even if there's times where I'm praying and, I, and then I get distracted and I go back and like, Oh yeah, God, I forgot I was talking to you. <laughs> start back up. You don't got to start back over. Just, just start it back up and God definitely understands you. I hope some of these tips helped you. Some of these tricks helped you. They definitely helped me, honey, because child, this brain of mine, it just be like all over the place, honey, all over the place. So thank you for watching. Please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I have so many videos that I'm going to be bringing to you guys and ju just to help you out because listen, I'm helping myself out, okay? So I love you guys. God bless you and peace.